What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 230 and uh, we start the episode off uh, looking at the calendar, I don't really show this but it's the last month of the season so I thought I'd show it, we've got uh, Malaga, then Getafe, then Real Mafia and uh, then Real Betis to end the regular season off in La Liga and then of course we've got the Europa League final against Spurs on the Wednesday and then the Copa del Rey final against the Athletic Bilbao on the Friday so uh, a bit of a congested fixture list especially to end the season off, two finals. Um, in such a short space of time, that's going to be really frustrating because we're going to have to make so many changes for the, uh, the Copa del Rey. Um, so very frustrating, but um, we had to do the business in a league first, and uh, we took on Malaga now. Um, I don't show the league table until right at the end, and I forgot all about it, so I'm really sorry. But um, what I will tell you is that uh, Valencia and Sevilla, who were the fourth and fifth teams, they were both completely choking um, in both of their games. Uh, sorry, in all four of their games, and they also had a game where they played each other. So I felt very confident we were going to wrap up third place, um, you know, at the very least get fourth place, which means we'd have to go through the qualifying stages for the Champions League. Um, but in, in general, I felt very confident it was going to be a Champions League place for us and not a Europa League place. Um, so I wouldn't need to worry about it too much. But uh, after we took the lead against Malaga, I mean, we only really needed like three points, four points before we could definitely uh, see us being secu uh, secured. But um, yeah, as we took the lead here for Insire here against Malaga... Um, Tried to pass their way out once again, completely fucked it up. Sol uh, finds Casemiro here, and Casemiro plays it to Mayol. Mayol uh, tries to skip past his man, it comes back to Casemiro. He finds Tubich down the left hand side, he finds Sol. Sol finds Mayol, lovely touch here, and ends up just smashing it into the top corner from range. What a goal that is. As I said, I've just got so much better at shooting from range, and I'm not entirely sure why. It's it's really, really bizarre, because this side has, you know, probably less distant shooters than... Um, than uh, the uh, side of Sunderland. Yeah, I've got so much better. But anyway, uh, Camacho gets a bad injury here from Casemiro. And uh, Malaga keep on going down the left-hand side. Camacho's got the injury, and they end up winning the corner here. And, uh, well, you know exactly what's going to happen, don't you? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Camacho's injured yet. He doesn't go off the pitch. He's like, nope, I'll stay in the box for this corner. And um, he ends up winning the second header and putting the ball into the back of the net. So I was like, ah, oh, he's just faking the injury, trying to spite us there. That's why we didn't mark him at the corner. He was like, nah, there's no need to mark him, guys. He's injured. But... Uh, Anyway, Camacho makes it 2-1 uh, here, and uh, Malaga almost equalised. What a fantastic, fantastic clearance after the ball hit the bar. Uh, but it did finish 2-1, so uh, a win against Malaga, and um, you know, very good for us, really, because like I say, I, I felt we only needed the three points in one of the four games. I felt we had enough leeway out um, uh, above Valencia and Sevilla, and of course Valencia and Sevilla having to play each other meant you know I was pretty confident that um, you know even if we slipped up in you know a couple of our games it wouldn't really matter. But um, anyway, we played Getafe in the following game, and uh, in the second minute this happened. <laughs> Adrian lost out to Schulze, and look at this from the goalkeeper. What was he doing? He was so lucky to get that ball cleared off the line. There it was absolutely embarrassing from the AI. I don't know what happened there, but it was still nil nil regardless and um, here you see uh, Golobart uh, pick the ball up here down the left hand side and uh, find Marine here uh, he finds uh, Sorrell is that how you pronounce that um, anyway he plays the ball out wide to Kantari and uh, I positioned uh, Polito on the line but unfortunately the auto switch came back to haunt me there as uh, it switched when the uh, cross came in so uh, my defender was switched to the one defending Sarabia and uh, unfortunately Polito just walked off the line and uh, Getafe had to tap him and uh, unfortunately for us well as the ball hits the post here, uh, Sorrell is there on, on hand to uh, make it 2-0 to Getafe, so just a very frustrating result really, I mean a 2-0 loss at home to Getafe, that should not have happened, and uh, unfortunately for us, it's it's a loss, you know, it's, it's the first one in the episode, and um, you know, we're, we're in crunch time here, you know, the, the season's coming towards the end, and we shouldn't be losing those games, especially not at home to Getafe, but um, what you didn't see was... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, during that game, I was getting score updates of the uh, Valencia Sevilla game, and uh, Valencia ended up winning 2 1. So I know it doesn't really, really mean anything, but um, basically, what it did mean at the time was that uh, Valencia um, actually overtook Sevilla, and uh, it basically meant that only one point was gained on us since that loss to Getafe. So it meant that all we had to do in this game was basically get three points, and we would know for sure we were going to win um, qualification to the Champions League next year. And um, here in their scores here, eight minutes in, uh, after 
after we rode our luck in the first five minutes. And um, here you see once again uh, Mathia, who had already bought him and already down. Uh, trying to get the ball clear here. Uh, Mongil finds Oliver Torres, though. Uh, he finds it a Sire, and Sire with the scoop turn skips past his man and just rifles the ball into the back of the net. Really good finish by Sire, the big man. And uh, he made it 2-0 uh, to us. Uh, I've been reading a lot of your comments lately. A lot of you have also been saying, you know, you've got Sire. Can you please sign Mark Hanna as well? Um, of course, right now, we don't have the money to do so. Um, you know, he's obviously a very expensive player, 85 rated. Um, but don't worry, he is he is going to get signed for me as soon as possible. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be staying at Atletico Madrid till the rest of the series. But if I am, then I'll go ahead and sign him. But I'm just sort of weighing up the options, I suppose. But um, don't worry, you don't need to comment every episode. I do read your comments. I do know that you guys want me to sign in Sire. And, uh, sorry, not in Sire, Marcano. And uh, in time, he will be signed. But uh, anyway, on the hour mark, uh, we count the pitch here with some nice passing. And uh, when Sire plays through Mayol here, Mayol goes uh, down the right-hand side. And Sire makes a run to the far post. And it's Mayol who picks him out. As in Sire gets his second goal of the game. Really nice header after some nice link-up play there. And uh, yeah, and Sire makes it 3-0 to Atletico Madrid. And 2-0 to us. So like I say, you know, like the points were basically secured. And uh, qualification to the Champions League for next season were basically secured. Um, Fia almost managed to get themselves a goal back but they didn't and it finished 3-0 so a good win two goals for Insire one for Jimenez gotta be honest I'm liking that partnership you know I really like Jack Christie I think he's obviously a great striker we had him at Sunderland so he's a great striker I know that um, and William Jose of course he's injured at the moment but he was fantastic for us when he was playing but I'm I'm, I'm really liking that partnership you know I've got to admit I really like it the uh, Insire and Jimenez partnership but uh, anyway uh, we took on <clears throat> took on Real Batiste for this game and um, as I said after that game against Real Mafia um, it meant that we were already qualified for the Champions League um, so when Leandro Cabrera headed in this corner here you know he rested all of our players to make sure we had them all fit for the Europa League final but um, it was a very very boring game it, it finished 1-0 that was the only goal Leandro Cabrera's header <coughs> oh dear excuse me <clears throat> And uh, that meant that basically uh, we had secured a passage into the Champions League uh, for next season, which you will see in just a moment. Um, and of course, you know, like I said, I had to rest all of my players because I just didn't want to get any more injuries and uh, anyone on bad fitness for, uh, you know, two games in three days. And both of those being finals, it's going to be hard. But um, yeah, you see it there. We, we basically went on a crusade. Both Sevilla and Valencia just had absolute meltdowns in the final four games. Um, like I say, they did play each other. Valencia won that battle, but in general, they were both terrible. You know, they both just kept on drawing and losing games. You can see there, Getafe beat Sevilla on the final day by two goals to nil. Valencia drew with Barca B. It was um, it was just embarrassing. They just kept on losing and drawing, and uh, just like um, last season in the league with Sunderland, like um, on the final day when uh, we thought we needed to win and we could have lost and still won it. That's basically what it was like for the final four games. You know, we could have just could have just lost all of games and we probably would have qualified but um, regardless of such we finished third and um, that's good news for us um, I mean the board did say they wanted the league title they never gave us a cup objective um, so I, there is a little bit of concern right now I haven't played the cup finals I haven't ended the season there is a little bit of concern that they may sack me because we didn't win the league title we didn't even finish second we ended up finishing third quite a few points behind um, Barcelona, I think it was the one, or Real Madrid at least, now it's Barcelona. So, um, you know, there is a bit of concern that we will get sacked, but um, hey, we'll have to wait and see what happens um, after the Copa del Rey final. But uh, anyway, uh, we have Guitar 2022 coming up. Uh, I asked for your comments to say whether it's been done on YouTube before. Apparently it has. I, I didn't notice. Some guy called Cutsy Gaming, I think it was. I i got to be honest, I'm sorry, I don't really know who that is, but um, apparently he's done it on, on YouTube, so that sucks, I really want to be the first person to do it, but um, even so, I hope you guys are excited for it, it should be really good fun, um, and I'm picking my squad here, I know you guys are going to be facepalming and saying, no, why, why are you leaving players like Thiago out of the squad, but... Um, you know, I'm trying to get younger players into the squad, trying to, you know, try and get the old ones out and, um, <clears throat> you know, try and get the old ones out. So it turns out I do pick Thiago in the end, I forgot about that. But, um, yeah, trying to get the younger players in because Spain do actually have a bit of an ageing side, really. Um, so I'm trying to get the younger players in and, um, yeah, this is the squad I picked. I did say I'd show it and uh, hopefully you guys are excited for that tournament. I, I think it's going to be really good fun to watch and um, who knows, imagine a World Cup final live commentary on YouTube. That could be one of the final episodes 
of the series. Can you imagine that? That would be absolutely incredible. But uh, as always, guys, a big thank you for watching this video. Uh, as usual, I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, please leave a like because that really helps my channel out. And I will be seeing you for episode 231, which is a live comedy Europa League final tomorrow afternoon. And then straight after that, a Copa del Rey final against Athletic Bilbao. So as always, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you tomorrow afternoon for that live comedy.